Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to present you Fujitsu's solution uh, for reporting, solvency to reporting in XBR standard. Um, the purpose of today's presentation is to give you a brief overview about the standard itself, because I'm not, I don't know whether you are familiar with the standard. May I ask you a question? Who of you have heard in the past about XBRL standard? We have few persons, <laughs> maybe three or four. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to talk to you uh, from technical um, perspective point of view. I'm going to give you a brief overview about the solution, about the standard in general, what the standard is, what terminology we are using in XBR award and how the standard and our tools can help you to fulfill uh, regulators' requirements. I have 20 minutes, I have heard, so I will do my best in order to finish on time. So let's go, because time is passing. Oh, does it work for some reason? Can you help me? Okay. Uh, here's the agenda of my speech. First of all, I would like to say a few words about Fujitsu, who we are, what kind of services uh, we offering in this area. And then I will try to explain you about XBR standard and uh, what kind of tools, solutions, services we offering in XBR area. And the last part of the presentation is, of course, summary. And um, I will try to summarize what what value added uh, is uh, in, in using our, our solution. Some of you most probably know Fujitsu, but uh, Fujitsu, most of the people know as a hardware producer, but believe me that Fujitsu is a leading Japanese information and communication technology company offering uh, a range of technology product solutions. And what is very important that Fujitsu is a market leader in providing solutions for XBRL. Um, we have an operation in more than 100 countries and uh, 170,000 people working around the world uh, for Fujitsu. And uh, as a part of Fujitsu group, I'm representing the, the company who is responsible for um, technical support. On the next slide, I will say a few words about that. Uh, what is Fujitsu expertise in XBR area? First of all, uh, it's worth to mention that uh, Fujitsu is involved in development of the standard itself uh, because our colleagues from Fujitsu are part of working group who are working actively on implementation new specification of the standards. So, for example, if you have a look at this slide uh, about the rendering, versioning, uh, uh, this is new specification of the standard on which uh, we are working together with experts uh, from other countries and we providing also the tools, consortium version of the tools for the people who are working on the standard. So I can say that the standard is developed somehow based on our tools. Which is good because uh, when the new specification appears we are always try to be first on the market in order to uh, implement as a, even as a better version um, functionality which allows our customers uh, to, to play with the new standard specification. I'm, uh, our company is a part of Fujitsu Group, as I said, is responsible for technical support, uh, first line technical support and sales of Interstage X1 product in Europe and Middle East. And uh, we operate from Krakow in Poland. If you have been in Krakow, you know that this is a nice city. If some of you didn't have a chance to, to go there, <laughs> I invite you to, to visit Krakow. Uh, we, are also, uh, we, have an also, we have also a team of developers in, in, in our office, so we are ready to develop some custom solutions according to customer requirements on top of Interstage X1 uh, API. Few words about XBRL. That's all about the short introduction about Fujitsu. Few words about XBRL. What is this and for what purpose uh, the standard has been created? In XBRL world, uh, we are using uh, two 
words, let's say, taxonomies and instance documents. In general, XBRL standard is extensible business reporting language. Uh, it's somehow standardized way of creating and using uh, business reports in XML. Uh, why the standard has been created in order to allow regulators to specify the financial facts they required through the uh, use of taxonomies, which is set of uh, data definition rules, and uh, the data submitted across all of the submitted documents, which we, uh, we, we are saying, uh, which the name of the uh, financial reports in XBR termino terminology is instance document. The idea of creating XBR standard was to improve transparency and uh, quality of the reported data. Uh, what the taxonomy includes? Taxonomy is uh, some kind of dictionary. Dictionary which defines what kind of uh, elements should be reported, uh, what kind of relation between the financial elements are in the, uh, in the data, uh, and uh, usually the taxonomy, the set of dictionaries, the dictionary is created by some uh, regulators. It happens sometimes that some filers, companies who is going to, to prepare the reports, sometimes decided to, to extend the taxonomy. But usually uh, the idea is to use the core taxonomy provided by some uh, regulator or financial authority. Uh, and for, for instance, for uh, solvency two reporting, for pillar three reporting, we have solvency two taxonomy. Who created the taxonomy? I will say you a few words about that uh, in a few minutes. Uh, where XBRL standard has been adopted? As you can see on the slide, uh, around the world. Uh, not only in Europe. Uh, now is a big boom in Europe for XBRL implementation because European Banking Authority decided that XBR standard will be mandatory from uh, January 2014 for all um, central banks located in Europe, uh, but also in other countries. As you can see, uh, in APAC region, APA uh, region, um, standard is also quite uh, well defined and implemented. And even more, uh, in Australia or in New Zealand, exists standard business reporting project, which uh, allows all regulators located in those countries to create common taxonomy, common dictionary. That means that once created report can be easily read it and extract the data from the report. Can be the data can be extracted by different regulators. So this is the idea. Uh, how the XBRL uh, should be implemented. Uh, coming back to uh, the requirements uh, in Europe, uh, I have mentioned already about EBA implementation, that EBA uh, created the taxonomy for corrupt finrep reporting for banking sector, and uh, now most of the central banks in Europe already implemented the solution which allows them to submit the data in XBR standard and also validate, extract the information from them and then send it to EBA, for example, as in case of Central Bank of Romania, or to uh, European Central Bank. But another step, as you can see on this slide, is that EOPA also decided, EOPA, which means European Insurance and uh, Occupations Pensions Authority also decided that XBR standard will be mandatory standard from 2016. As you can see here is the some kind of timeline of implementation of the standard. What does it mean? That means that also uh, all European financial authorities who will be responsible for controlling insurance and pension fund sectors they have to be ready with the solution, and it depends on the approach of the implementation of XBR standard. It may happen that they will require it from insurance companies or pension funds to report to them in XBR standard very soon. Which we, what we see on the market, that number of insurance companies from other countries 
already requested us about such a solution. So that means that they started to prepare uh, for the implementation. Uh, about the taxonomies, who creates the taxonomies and what the taxonomies are available on the market? About correct FINEP taxonomy, I already mentioned that has been created uh, has been created by EBA. We have also solvency to taxonomy created by EOPA, but also on the market existing other taxonomies like IFRS, US GAAP, or even GRI taxonomy for non-financial reporting. So as you can see, not only in financial sector, the XBI standard can be implemented. Uh, what is the idea or maybe what is the, the background of the implementation? Uh, we have, an, we have a directive, European directive, which saying that uh, I'm not an expert in this field because I'm not representing insurance company, but I know that the directive saying that uh, should be, the report should be created in some common way and in standard way. And uh, EOPA, that's why, decided that uh, they will create their own taxonomy and try to control better market in order to uh, get from the market um, data which are, um, which have a good quality, which has a good quality. Main idea of the implementation of XBI standard is uh, reduce the reporting bar burden. Uh, if you can have a look uh, at this slide, you can see that uh, in a conventional, let's say, way, the reports have been created in different formats. So it's not so easy to compare the reports, to extract the data, and so on. So the idea of implementation of XBI standard is to, first of all, create one common dictionary, which is taxonomy, and also, sorry, and also common rules, common rules which allows both filers and regulators, authorities, to check correctness of the data before the data, for example, filers can check the data, whether the data has been created properly before uh, the, the reports have been submitted to, to local regulator. XBRL mandatory reporting. Uh, I think that you don't want to look <laughs> like this guy from the slides. <laughs> uh, it's, it's better to start uh, to think about the implementation of the standard. It's better to, to talk to your local regulator financial authority, I don't know whether in Romania will be responsible for solvency to uh, implementation central bank of, or uh, FSA, ASF, sorry. Uh, but it's time to talk to them and check what will be the next step in this area. And uh, if you will have an um, information from them that XBI standard will be implemented in the near future, it's, it's good to think, uh, start to think about uh, the um, possible approach to the project implementation. We don't want to leave you with this problem. <laughs> uh, so that's why we started to work as many years ago on, on preparing uh, solutions, um, which existing on the market more than 11 years. Uh, what is good in our solution, that our solution is taxonomy agnostic. Uh, that means that you can load into the solution any taxonomy existing on the market. So if I said that uh, we started to develop the solution 11 years, so that means that uh, we, we are working and our solution working with different taxonomies, with CORP, FINREP, with Insolvency2, with IFRS, with USGAP, and that's why we have a number of implementation around the world, and uh, on the next slide you will see where. This is the standard workflow, how the uh, submission of uh, financial information uh, should looks like, can looks like, can uh, in, in uh, let's say, XBRL uh, reality. So first of all, you have a regulator who is responsible for preparing the taxonomy, and the regulator provides you the taxonomy, the dictionary, and based on the dictionary, you are able to create 
uh, financial reports. How we can help you in this area? First of all, as you can see, based on the taxonomy, we are able to create Excel template because most of you likes to work with Excel. So taxonomy define how the tables should look like, what the structure of the table will be, and what kind of data should be reported. So as you can see, we are able automatically uh, prepare based on the taxonomy such templates, and then the templates can be filled in by the filers, by insurance company, pension funds companies, or by regulator, it doesn't matter for us. And then we have a tools which allows to convert the Excel file into XBRL. And we have a tools and functionality which allows you to check the correctness of the reported data. So you can do the validation before the data has been submitted to the regulator. And on the screen you, uh, you can see the sample of such report uh, validation report created um, uh, with help of our tool. So you have uh, information about the error, uh, what kind of uh, um, error appears, and you, you can jump directly to the cell which, uh, in which the data has been completed uh, uh, in not the correct way, let's say, and should be uh, uh, should be should be checked once again, and, and uh, the report should be um, submitted after the validation with the new correct data, corrected data. Who is using our solution? Um, many institutions, not only as you can see from financial sector. Among them are regulators uh, like European uh, Central Bank, but also. Uh, central banks from different countries, FSA agencies, and also filers, submitters, but also software vendors who decided to embed our engine to their solution in order to report uh, and in order to provide solution to their customers, which allows them to, to report in the XBR standard. Time is passing, sorry for that, but I have a more, few more slides, so I have to be really, really fast. Uh, coming back to, to our solution, what, what we could offer you in this area. Uh, I have mentioned that we have a tools which allows you to, to create a sample of Excel file based on the taxonomy. We have a tools which allows you to, uh, to work with the taxonomy. So you can load into our tools the taxonomy. You can check the, um, what kind of uh, data are included in the taxonomy, what kind of information and so on. You can extend the taxonomy with using our tools, so you can create also financial reports in XBR standard, convert the data from Excel into XBRL, and also you can do the validation. We have a three groups of uh, solutions for the purpose. One of them is set of desktop tools, which allows you to play in all areas of XBRL. The second is uh, API, uh, application developer, ready to use libraries for .NET and Java, which can be used by your IT staff, by your IT developers in order to easy, in easy way to extend your existing reporting solution uh, in order to fulfill uh, regulators' requirements. And we have a processing engine, which is execution environment for the custom application developed on top of API. And processing engine supports Linux, Windows, and Solaris, so we are quite flexible. Besides of that, because some of the regulators, customers, uh, they said, oh, okay, you have a nice tool, but tools, but we don't have enough time in order to, to develop the, the solution or extend our reporting solution. So in order to help them, uh, we prepared also a number of integration components, which allows them in easy way to extend the existing reporting solution in order to fulfill uh, local regulators' requirements. Uh, for that, we have uh, command line validators, uh, converters from Excel into XBRL, from XBRL to Excel, or CSV and other, um, uh, other formats. Uh, how we can do the integration uh, with our solution, how the integration can be done, 
through web services, uh, by delivering uh, the, the set of ready-to-use libraries, by providing you with SharePoint components, and also we support you in kind of customization and uh, system integration. Uh, we do provide also training about XBRL itself, also about uh, how to use our software and consulting training, uh, consulting services related to, to the integration. I'm slowly go to the end of the presentation. Uh, so on this slide, I would like to show you which area. This is the ideal sample of submission platform, which can be used by not only regulators, but also by, by filers, by insurance companies. Uh, so on this slide, I just wanted to mark which areas we are covering with our solution. So you can see the red cycles here, uh, which saying that we are responsible for with our tools uh, for, for conversion of the data into XBRL, for the validation, for, for extraction of the data um, from instance files, from uh, financial reports created in, in XBRL standard, and also for, for publishing, because sometimes it happens that XBRL uh, reports created, them should be somewhere published uh, for public use. For example, it works, for example, in case of stock exchange com or company register. So we have a tool also which allows you to extract the data from, to convert the data from uh, XBRL uh, instance file and convert them to PDF or other format like Excel or CSV. What is our advantages over competitors? Three slides left. Uh, first of all, uh, our engine has a good performance, which is confirmed by a number of central banks, by, central, by regulators who, who are using our engine for the validation purpose. And so what is good that uh, you don't have to care about the maintaining of the solution. Because if new taxonomy, new dictionary, or updated version of the taxonomy has been created by the regulator, we are responsible for uh, providing you free of charge according to valid maintenance contract, new version of the software which support these this, uh, requirements. You have an access to our center of excellence which is located in, in, in Krakow in Poland. So we are quite flexible and we can visit you or present you the solution and support you during the, the implementation uh, uh, phase. Uh, why partnering with us? Uh, first of all, the solution is market tested, existing on the market many years, and uh, allows you in a rapid way to, to extend your existing reporting platform uh, without any big effort for uh, programming or uh, development um, phase. Big, why is that? Because uh, together with ready-to-use libraries uh, for .NET and Java, we provide guidelines for developers. We provide uh, code snippets, samples of the of the programs, which in easy way can be adopted into your um, into your solution, which is which is good because speed up the, the implementation process. What are the benefits for you also that? Uh, uh, you can save the cost uh, of, uh, for maintaining the, the, the software because we are responsible for that. And uh, in easy way, the, the, the software can be, can be integrated uh, with your solution because we have a number of products, modules, and also custom uh, components, which in easy way allows you for that. I think that this is last slide of my presentation so thank you very much for your attention what is the value added of our solution as you can see please implement and sit like this guy <laughs> thank you